Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. We are going to be driving a 50% race at Talladega because uh, it is all Talladega, did not know. Um, and unfortunately I can only use the bat, the, it actually is a cool test car. I could use that, I'm just going to use the main car. It's just, they took all the logos off, except for the eight on the, the roof. Eh. I like that car anyway. Yeah, I'm going to drive the Smoky Herbal Mountain Snuff car. And I'm going to drive as Daniel Hemrick. And we're to Talladega. So, yeah, here we go, Talladega. We're going to do the Geico 500 because that's what they're racing today. It'll be a 94 lap race. I've only won here once in Cup. That's crazy. I guess because I haven't run a lot of Cup races here. <laughs> I learned like five compared to Daytona where I won like a bunch. So. Okay, we're going to try and win this race. I don't know if we can. We're going to be with one of the slower cars in the field. Because we're in that part-time RCR 8 car. From last year. Which is now the full-time second car. And the 31 is now the part-time car. And it's only, that 31 car is only run at Daytona with Tyler Reddick, so... I kind of hope we get to see that car more, because I kind of I wouldn't mind seeing Reddick run some more Cup races, honestly. Considering how good he's been this year with RCR, like I think he's done a pretty, pretty darn good job. Okay, but yeah, I, I decided to go with the 8 car at Talladega because that seemed kind of fitting to me. So, and he qualified really good uh, earlier today. Um, it's so weird having qualifying like right after the Xfinity race. They did something similar to at Martinsville with having the truck series race and then they qualified after that. I'm not the biggest fan of that. I'm more of a fan of them qualifying on, on, um, on Fridays. Because more track action, it feels like. Because it feels like there's less track action when they're not qualifying on Fridays. And it didn't help that they barely, like, showed any of the practices yesterday. They only showed, like, one or two on TV, and the rest are all online. You had to stream them, which is kind of dumb. I'm like, what, why do that? At least it's streamed for free, but sometimes those streams are pretty ass, so... <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I decided, why not be the 8 car? And hopefully we don't qualify last. I'm kind of sad if we do. This is one of those, like, crappy teams, technically, that always seems to start the back in this game. But that's only because the 8 car didn't run full time, so, you know. I wish I could get, I wish I could get the 2018 update and get the, or 2019 update, excuse me, and run the number 8 Caterpillar car, because that car looked awesome. <laughs> I love that paint scheme. I've actually got the hero. I got a hero card and a poster from Caterpillar uh, with Daniel Hemrick's stuff on it. So that's pretty sweet. I was pretty happy to get those. <laughs> they gave me two hero cards for some reason, so that was kind of weird. But hey, I got two of them, so who cares? <laughs> I got an extra one if anybody want, anybody wants it, or I can just give it away. Whoever, whatever. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, I'm just going to go as Daniel Hemrick. I have a gut feeling that this race is going to open up and we're going to see a bunch of young guys be up at the front. I don't know. Like, it just... It seems like this new package, at least from what I'm hearing, because, again, I didn't see practice, so I don't know, is that the closing rate is so much stronger than it was in the last package, you know, where the where it's all... Like, it was, you get really strung out, kind of like a 90s race. Whereas this, it's a lot more, like, you can catch a guy pretty easily. So we'll probably see a lot more passing tomorrow. And we'll probably get to see some pretty good race. 20, I'll take that. Mid-pack, that's not bad. At least it's not last. <laughs> Poor Chris Busher, man. He usually is up at the front. That's crazy. I'll take mid-pack. That's not bad, honestly. That's pretty good. Oh, excuse me. Whew. Jeez Louise. Let's go, Sam Bowies. Let's 
so yeah, me, Daniel, Hammerick. Ooh, I'm behind uh, the 12 car. Interesting. And behind a teammate, too, in the 31 car. And I got another ECR guy behind me in Casey Kane. There's Paul Menard. Dang, he's coming. I got head steam behind me. Oh, there comes Jimmy. Jimmy's coming, too. Oh, God, what am I doing? We've, I know we've blamed in the dust. Get behind Harvick. He's actually running the... Yeah, he's running the same paint scheme that he ran in this race <laughs> last year, which is pretty funny. He's running the flannel, the Bush flannel car, but it's on the Mustang body, which I like. I actually like this paint scheme. It's kind of cool. There's Chase. I don't know. I'm really hoping we see the 8 car and the 24 car up front. I don't know why. I just have this gut feeling that that's going to happen. And we're going to see, like, basically a retro race <laughs> where the 8 and the 24 got to be up front a lot, but who knows. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen, honestly. I Oh, here's a teammate. He's lost him doing. He actually is on the pole for this race uh, tomorrow, so that's kind of cool. Different paint scheme, though. I don't know about that paint scheme. Different one. There's Eric Armarola. He's on the outside now. Same paint scheme, different body, of course, if the Mustang. Um... So yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow. I'm, I'm ready to get, get get to racing, and hopefully we'll see a good race. Um, honestly, I thought today's Xfinity race was actually pretty good. Um, it wasn't a big old train like uh, like the Daytona race was, for the most part. There was a little bit of that, but for the most part, they actually were trying to win that race. Like a lot of guys were, were you know juking around, making moves. Ross Chastain had a great car most of the race. I was hoping he'd pull off a win, and then he got screwed over because he had, like, a, a coolant leak or something on the back of his car that let out a lot of water or something. That kind of took him out of the finish, which was really a shame. Damn, we're already up to sixth in this car. That's crazy. We're just zipping and jiving through the field. This is crazy. There's, I think there's William Byron. No, that's uh, Brad Kozlowski. Okay. Yeah, he's in the snap-on car. He's actually in the snap-on car again, but it's a different paint scheme. It's like an all black with a little red on the down the side or down the middle. It's a really cool looking paint scheme. It honestly, it kind of looks like a rally car or a V8 supercar kind of paint scheme. It's really neat. I kind of like it. Like the sponsor logo isn't directly on like the middle of the hood. It's like kind of off to the side. I don't know. It kind of works. I kind of like it. It's like a. It's like a. Like I said, it's kind of like you're looking at a rally car. Or, something that's kind of cool like that's how they look in the that's or in the v8 supercars i should say like like a, like how the sponsors on the side instead of the number that's kind of what it looks like but it's on the hood like that it's kind of weird it's kind of cool that i like it there's a true x not a different number completely different team now which is crazy but yeah yeah we're gonna we're gonna take the lead already Lap, whatever, six, <laughs> five, lap five of this race, we're already taking the lead. That was quick. Well, that was quick. I thought we were going to be slow today because we're in a slow car. We're actually pretty fast. I'm trying to work with any Hamlin here. I'm trying to side draft off the 78. Kind of, there we go. There we go. Got the lead now. Yep. And we're gone. <laughs> Damn, that was easy. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I didn't do a full 200 or 200 or 188 lap race because I think this would have been boring. I only did a 50% race, so oh well. <laughs> Fuel mileage could play a part. Let's see, 15 laps to go. 22. Yeah, we might have to pit. Okay, interesting. So fuel strategy will play a part in this. Nice. I like that. I like strategy. <laughs> but yeah, I am. Uh, I'm. I don't know why. I just have this gut feeling because the eight, the three cars fast. So you would assume the eight car is going to be good, and they were both pretty good at Daytona. I thought, especially in the in the uh, the 500, they just got caught up in that big one that took out like the like almost more than half the field, like 27 cars or something. I can't remember the one that 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 the big one. <laughs> That one that took out like every almost every car that was left. Um, so yeah, 
So we ended up with like seven cars that weren't damaged or something, or like four or five cars that weren't damaged. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm hoping Hemrick will, will have a good race tomorrow. I may have to check my fantasy lineup and f and fiddle around with it because I really I really don't want to waste a pick on a guy. Um, like uh, like I love Keselowski, but I don't want to waste a pick on him when I can use him later in the year. But man, he's so good at Talladega. <laughs> I don't. I mean, eh, he's only. I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to look through my my lineups and see what I can what I can do, who I can use, and all that. So. Yeah, it's going to be a bitch picking who's going to win the stages, because it's like, or even the race, really, because it's like, it's just whoever, <laughs> whoever has the lead <laughs> at the start-finish line, which could be anybody, is could win this thing. It's going to be crazy. Oh, here comes Kurt. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I about, I about got holding off Denny Hamlin, holding off Kurt Busch, holding off Brad Keselowski. Oh, I'm in the middle. I'm in the sucker hole. Thankfully, there was nobody on the bottom, so I got behind Ant one. I could. I don't know if I want to do that though. My car's kind of tight in draft in traffic, just a little bit, especially on older tires. Let's see how this goes. That's really cool though. You can get friggin'. I never thought there'd be a game where I could race as a as a a, uh, a snuff car, <laughs> as basically a chew a chew car, you know, or whatever it's called, uh, whatever that's it's snuff basically. It's a, it's a tobacco product essentially. I remember the days when they had to put like, you know, they had to like blank off the smoking joes and all that. So this is weird. Let me see if I can get a message. Okay. I can't message you back. I'm a little busy right now. Okay. Just hang out with Denny Hamlin here. There's Brad behind me. And the two car. I do like that this the, the uh, this game has a really decent CPU for the most part. Like most of the time, they get the drivers who usually run up front. Like in real life, at least in 2018, anyway. Like, these are about the guys who actually ran up front in, like, the actual races in 2018, especially the plate races, like, because there's Brad, there's Denny Hamlin, and sometimes they'll have Bubba Wallace. Like, at Daytona, Bubba Wallace was up there, and he finished, like, second. Joe Logano's back there. He was really good at Talladega last year. He got a race. You know, Kurt Busch was up here. He about dominated the fall race. So, yeah, there's, like, I like that. I like that this game has, like, a, de a decent CPU to where, like, you know, drivers who are good at one track, they're really good. Like, Jimmy Johnson, although he hasn't been great there lately, they usually have him up at the front at, like, Dover or Martinsville. Although last year, he wasn't good at either one, so... Eh. Surprisingly. And even, when, even at Martinsville, he's, he wasn't that good at Martinsville, which was kind of shocking, like, this year. You, I thought they would have turned it around, and... He did good at Texas, surprisingly. I, I was surprised because he kind of struggled there ever since they repaved it. But he actually had a really good run there. Like, man, ran top five almost the entire race, which was good to see. And he lost, like, track position at one point, And then he got it back to get a top, uh, top five. So that was a good run for him, I think, considering all the crap that he's been, <laughs> been through the last year. Or so, like, that's a good run. That was easily the, the week that were the longest like windless streak he's had and I don't know if it's gonna end soon. I hope it does. It's kinda of, it's kinda of weird like Hendrick not being essentially the top dog right now. And the safe cars. Pretty good. 
I have to say, she pretty good. She got a lot of speed. I like her. Dan Hamlin's back. I think Trevor Bain's back there too. Which usually he's pretty good at the play races, but again, last year was kind of a, not really because he, you know, struggled a lot last year. So, eh, I don't know how accurate that is, but yeah, whatever. Fifteen to go, so we'll be like seven laps short on fuel if we don't get a caution here. Which we could. I'm thinking about short paying, but I don't know if that's a good strategy. Maybe I should short pay. Maybe it's like I haven't cleaned the entrance to pit road. But I'm gonna have a clean entry to pit road anyway, because I'm leaving, so I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and come in. I'm coming in. Oh god. We need you to slow down, Damn it, I forgot to put more tape on it. Oh well. Only seven seconds. Not a bad pit stop. Good job. Man, Truex already out of the race. That's a shot. He was leading it when I took the lead over. I guess he had a I guess he blew a motor or something. That's crazy. So I'm gonna get the Chris Brad thing, but I get to you know, get off pit road and stay ahead of these guys, so that's something. Trying to carry a little bit more speed in that corner. That didn't work out so well. Mm. Yep, caution. Well, I get to stay out now, so hey, hey. Nice. So I, I short pitted all y'all. <laughs> Honestly, Yeah, tomorrow, I forgot about tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, uh, F1 is racing in Azer Azerbaijan, so that should be a fun race. Have they ever, they've already had, like, just in qualifying alone, like, three or four cars wrecked. Or I think it was actually, like, two, two cars wrecked. Um, one of them being uh, Leclerc, Sean Leclerc crashed. Or Charles, Le Charles Leclerc, excuse me. He crashed <laughs> in qualifying, so, yeah. Not so great, <laughs> but the Bo Botas and Hamilton got the top spot, so yay. 
I'm a I'm a Hamilton guy, so and I like Botas. Okay, he's cool. I would love to see. I wish Ricardo could have gone to Mercedes. Though I wish I wish Ricardo could have been his teammate. That would have been sweet. I would have loved that. Yeah, Renault didn't have a great day. We'll see how that goes tomorrow. I'm excited. I hope I got I got to set my alarm so I can get up and watch it. But oh no, man, I don't want to get up that early. I would like to. Oh look, who's coming to the picture? It's Larson. Nice. And the Credit One Bank Chevy, he's coming to the front. Oh, damn, this heartburn. And I have tums, but I'm, they're not in my reach. <laughs> Unless I pause, I'm gonna wait till the end of the stage, and I can grab them. So I need to hang on for like uh, seven more laps. Dang, this car is good. I like it a lot. I, I can't believe how good the Zay car is. I thought it would suck. Because <laughs> it's one of those like slow teams in the game. Usually like the CPU for it is pretty shit. So it's always at the backs. But uh, it's actually pretty good today. I qualified like 21st. Not, not terrible. And we got all the way up to the front within like lap 5. So yeah. <laughs> I'm, thinking, uh, I'm thinking this car pretty good. We're literally holding it. Hey, hey, Bubba Wallace is up here. Sweet. So we got like a little Chevy train going here. Me, Larson, Elliot, and Bubba Wallace. So that's a pretty good train going there. Five to go, baby. There comes Blaney too. Blaney's up here, man. It's like all my favorite drivers just wanted to come up to run up the front in this race. If this was the real life race, I'd be happy. <laughs> I'd be pretty freaking happy. No lie. He's behind me. So Larson, Elliott, Blaney. Ah, well, Ghana's back there. Well, never mind. Well, top four are pretty good. <laughs> I'm okay with that top four. Two more laps to go. There's only about five. Here comes Larson. I'm gonna block him. Block him and then go back to the bottom. Block Elliot. Do the Pied Piper here. And then I'm gonna get caught in the middle. Here comes Larson. Damn. It's slowed by Logano here. Damn it. I'm behind Logano. That's not good. Bumper. So me and Logano are gone. Oh man. Three to go. This is a stage one. Let's go on here. Oh, I had a run and it stalled. Damn it. Side draft. Look at that side draft. Mm. Mm. 
Look at that speed. Mm, I am speed. <laughs> speed. I am speed, bitches. Two to go. Almost one to go now. For the stage, and I just have to hold on to it. White to go, white fly, one to go, one to go. Just hang on to the bottom, don't let the bottom. Don't let it go. Come on, let's hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, Going back straight away. Hey, but Wallace got you know, a couple at least. Wow. But Wallace is up there. Good for him. Yeah, we need to put um one more tape. Um, I'll take a little bit of wedge out. It's a little tight. Mmm. Take left side tires. Oh man, you can't take left side tires? Okay, well, never mind. I'll take four then. There we go. Yeah, look at that run. Mm. Yeah, stage one winner, leaving it all in the dust. Here come my boy Blaney. Here he come. Here he coming. Oh man, here comes Bubba. Bubba on the third lane. Here comes Blaney. Here comes, here comes Chase. Oh god. Here goes Kurt. Oh no, oh no. Oh, Kurt, Kurt died. And caution. Caution? We have caution. I might as well pit. We'll have more fuel. We'll be at the back, unfortunately. But that's okay. Dang, Ross Chastain's out of the race. That's not good. Look at that. on the 51. I have no drafting help. I'm trying to make this third lane, third lane work. It's not really going so well. Somebody up there. I don't know who that is. A red car. Maybe McMurray. Oh God. That's McMurray. Mm, mm, look at that 
Yes. Mm, that move. That move. Mm, that run. With Mikey. And with Nala Ty. Almost said Austin. Wrong, wrong Dylan. And then with Timmy. Yeah, working with Brandon Gown. With Jimmy. Oh, we're not going that goose. There's Matt DeBurrito. There's the car he ended up taking over, the 95. There's the three, my teammate. There's Eric Jones. God. Whoa, that was that was hairy. That was really hairy. Mm, mm, boy, that was close. Oh God. Damn, that was a mm, that was a sick move. There's Boyer. There's Reagan running top twenty. I'm going to block my ass. Because I'm talking about him. If it's okay, we're going to just work with him for now. I'm making our way to the front pretty easily. Already in the top 20. About a six car. Or not. I'm just it. I'm going to go the all line. gives a shit. Danica's up here in the top 15. Interesting. I wonder why. I wonder, I wonder why. Go Newman here. Go Newman. Yeah, man. <laughs> He's my teammate. <laughs> not anymore. He's not Rush. Work with Harvick. There's Bubba. Bubba's up here. And the 21 car, the 43 and the 21 working together. That's kind of cool. Working on the 41, working on the 17. Working on the 12. Damn, we're coming to the front. I think the tires are helping. I think we're good on fuel, actually. I didn't even check. We're going right on the cusp. Yeah, I'm like right on the money. So we should make it on fuel. So I hope we do. Oh man. Oh, I'm sorry, Brad. I left you hanging. But I gotta go to the front. I got a fast car. The ZL1 is mad fast. I love it. Mm, come on, 42. Let's go. Oh man, a 42 car was swing sideways. Come on, Magano, let's go.
I put myself inside here. Well, that's your prerogative, man. I, I don't know. I wouldn't be beside you. I don't know. I don't know if I'd want that. Oh, God. Ah. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 42. What are you doing? Ask away, Mr. Seals. Steve Seals. Oh, God. Oh, we got tight. We got tight. We got shuffled out. This is not good. Uh. Like what? <laughs> oh god, two car, what are you doing? What you're doing breaking Benjamin aren't you <laughs> from NASCAR 07 nice deep cut there bro <sighs> god I just I think I, I wrecked somebody I wasn't paying attention uh, damn it now nobody has to pit I don't think I don't yeah, yeah I realized that <laughs> I was confused for a second. I was like, what is going on here? <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, NASCAR 7, that'd be why. That'd be why. Come on, boy. Oh god. Oh god. Well, let's go three wide. Let's see how that works. Come on, 42. Let's get to the front. Chevy packed. I wonder if, if Chevy and Toyota are going to team up to stop the Fords from dominating like they did at Daytona. Because they kind of did that, and it worked pretty well, honestly. At least for Toyota, it didn't work all that great for Chevy. I wonder if they're going to do that again this, at Talladega tomorrow. I don't know if that's going to work out because it's a different package, supposedly. We'll see how that goes. I'm hoping it'll lead to something cool. I'm just, I'm just hoping something cool happens tomorrow. I just, I want something cool. I want a new winner too. On top of that, if somebody hasn't won at Talladega before. That'd be nice. Thank you so much, there, Mr. Seals. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Got a new subscriber. That's always good. Oh God, <laughs> that was clear handling. It's hard to tell from this angle if you're clear on somebody if you're on the right right rear. Well, so much for that run for me and Larson. That just died. <laughs> that went nowhere. Nice, thanks. I appreciate that. Oh god. Oh, I'm right oh shit! <laughs> that didn't go well. But he saved it. It's okay. Uh yeah, I try to stream at least once a week if I can help it. I've, I've kind of done it a couple times this week because I had a lot of, uh, I guess, free time. Um, a lot of time when I'm just, it's just me by myself, so that always worked out. Uh, like, this week was pretty pretty hectic, um, but I was able to stream a couple times, so that was pretty sweet. I decided to go ahead and do a cup race because I hadn't done one yet. Oh, excuse me, I did a truck race on Thursday. 
Um, that was fun. I forget who I raced as. I'm blanking. Oh, it was Infinger, that's right. I raced as Infinger, because he's, he's really good at Dega. That's right. I, I was like, is it him or Anderson? Of all time, uh, all time, uh, so basically anybody who's raced in NASCAR ever, it's Jeff Gordon. Always has been, always will be. My favorite current driver is uh, Brad Keselowski. So, yeah, those are my my two. Like Jeff Gordon, all time. Brad Keselowski, current. <laughs> I have a lot of drivers that I like. I only have like a handful that I don't really care for all that much. And yeah, one of them be leading. And there's my boy Brad. There he is. Come on, Brad. Let's go, boy. Let's go, baby. Dude. Come on, boy. No, I'm not laughing. I'm, I'm, that's pretty common. Like you got a lot of you got a lot of Earnhardt fans out there. That's pretty cool. I like Earnhardt. I, I kind of I mostly was a fan of his uh, when he was in the eight car. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's the three. Oh, you're talking about Dale Singer. Yeah, he was great. I love Singer. He's pretty cool. Him and Jeff had a great rivalry. Have you seen that documentary of him and Jeff? Oh, you meant Singer. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Once you said the rivalry, I was like, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, they had a rivalry. <laughs> that's Singer. <laughs> yeah, Junior was kind of. He didn't really like to rival with people <laughs> all that much. I love Junior though. He's pretty cool. Honestly, I love what Junior's done since he's retired. He's kind of become like a great spokesman for NASCAR. Now that he's retired, it's pretty awesome. And he's a team owner now, so it's pretty sweet. <laughs> he's a sweet team owner in Xfinity. And he helped Brad Keselowski out. He helped give him his big break, which is really cool. So I'm thankful for Dale, Dale Senior or Dale, Dale Junior. Excuse me for that. He gave Brad his big break, which is really cool. Yeah. Yeah, his mom passed away recently. That was really sad to see. They actually had all the junior, all the junior motorsports car. Oh, whoa! Denny Hamlin coming to pit road. Holy shit! Oh yeah, that's right. These guys got a pit. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't pit when we had that caution. They could have made it to the end. Yeah, I'm way good on fuel. These guys. I guess Hamlin was really close on fuel. I wasn't paying attention to that. Yeah. But all the junior motorsports cars had like uh, the Brenda Jackson like tribute on the the right doors, which was really nice. I was really hoping like one of them could win. They, did, they didn't have a great day today in the Xfinity race. I was really shocked by that. Like Brett Moffitt in the eight car didn't do a thing. Like that was really surprising. Like he was not up front at all. And that really surprised me because I thought he'd have a great run in that uh, in that number eight car. And he was, was like, out to lunch. Uh, the first one I ever played was NASCAR 06, so the predecessor to 07. I actually only played 07 uh, about a year ago. A little less than a year ago, maybe? I don't remember. It hasn't been that long. I haven't had that game for a while. Um, but I've had 06 for, for a long time. I had 05 for a long time. I played those two a lot. Those, were my, those, were, those games were amazing. Um, yeah, like, 06 was kind of, like, the big one for me. Oh, God, they're slow, they're slow, they're slow. I think him, oh, I think Logano ran out of gas. He ran out of gas on the last lap. Holy shit, we're going to win this. I think this is the last lap of the stage. That was some bad strategy there by the AI. Yeah, there's a bunch of guys running out of gas. I think they're wrecking back there. Oh, God, uh, I'm going to wreck if I'm not paying attention. It's like a, a bud shootout, like in the old NASCAR games, <laughs> where everybody would pit in weird, weird times. Holy shit, Matt Benedetto was second? What? <laughs> the Benedetto got second. And, that's, and Timmy Hill got a top ten. Okay, that's awesome. That was a good stage, man. <laughs> My boy Timmy got a top ten. That was cool. Oh, uh, yeah, we need to pit. Um, no damage. That was awesome. 
<laughs> Fucking Timmy Hill got a top 10. Okay, why is it not pitting? Oh, there we go. That was weird. Oh, because there's some guys that stayed out. Timmy Hill with the top 10. Proud, proud of you, Timmy. <laughs> proud of Timmy. And then BM. I guess some guys stayed out. That's kind of weird. I don't know. I guess they were on the lead lap and had pitted already, so they don't want to pit again. I don't know. The Benedetto took the hypothetical lead from me. There's Ray and there's teammates. Hey, from our motorsport teammates. Cool. Hey, whoa. I don't know what my, uh, yeah, but I bought NASCAR 07 and 08, like, pretty recently, like, within the last year or so. NASCAR 08 kind of sucks, but there are some cool things in it, like, it's the, you know. Yeah, yeah, that was probably the, la the, the best last one. <laughs> the, be the best good one that EA did. Or the last good one, I should say, excuse me. And it was a good one to go out on, and then 808 came along, and the shot all over that, and then 09 came along, and just added another pile of shit on top of that, so yeah, that kind of sucked. I want to kind of get 09, just, just so I can have, like, the drivers from that year, from 2008, you know, because I'd like to have Junior in the 88, and Kyle Busch in the 18, you know, just, just to have it, just for... <laughs> Just for historical reference, I guess, that makes any sense. Like, I kind of like having the NASCAR games for that reason, you know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they, they had him as a unlockable. That was really cool. I loved it when they did that. We can unlock Dale Senior races him. I loved the o, like NASCAR 04 and 05 because you could unlock his car and you could race, like, whatever paint scheme it is you wanted. They had, like, the Oreo car, the... The Bass Pro Shop car, um, the Coke car, which I love doing. I love doing like Coke versus Pepsi race with my brother one time. That was pretty cool. And, Co and Pepsi clearly won, so because <laughs> it is the best. But that's just me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the uh, but yeah, they had like I had like those and. Yeah, well, I, I, I still want to get it, like NASCAR 09, at least on the PS2, just so I can have it, because it basically is like NASCAR 08 on the PS2, which isn't a great game, but it's, I still play it every now and then, just to, you know, get, just to, just to, just so I can play as, you know, David Rudiman and his Burger King car, because that paint scheme is awesome. <laughs> or the, um, the last, like, basically just to have it for the 07, like, Gen 4 cars. That's kind of why, or uh, Gen 4, yeah, the Gen 4 cars from that year, you know. And um, plus the Dodges look, look just beautiful. Those 2006, 2007 Dodges just look like pure sex, man. They're just, the bodies are amazing. I miss those bodies. <laughs> we don't have that anymore in NASCAR. Would I, nah, I wouldn't be good on fuel. Cancel. It's not worth it. Yeah. I don't want to get it on the 360, though, because I I actually have played NASCAR 09 on the 360. It is not fun. <laughs> that, was, that was not a good time. Like, it, like, it's broken. <laughs> that game is broken on the 360. Yeah, I know. That's a, that's a bummer. That's the one. Well, if I get it for, like, like dirt cheap, like, I got... NASCAR 07 and 08, like, for dirt cheap, like, barely a dollar each, you know, like, that, that's what I would pay, like, I just want it for, like, a dollar just to have it, you know, I'm not paying, like, 20 bucks for it, like, I've seen it for 20 bucks some places on the PS2, and I'm just like, dude, no way, <laughs> I also would love to get, like, some of the earlier EA games from NASCAR that I don't have, um, like, I'd love to get NASCAR 03, and 02. Um, I actually played NASCAR 02 on the Xbox, the original Xbox. That actually was a lot of fun to play. It's kind of basic and bare bones, but I, I don't know why. I remember having a lot of fun with that. Like, I raced as Terry Labonte one time at Michigan, and it was just epic battle between me and Jeff Gordon and, like, I think it was Junior? I don't remember. It was, it was somebody else. 
was like a three-way battle for the lead. It was awesome. <laughs> and I got it. I barely got it on like the last lap. It was like a photo finish. It was pretty epic. I was I was pretty happy. I was like, dang, this is an awesome game. I got to kick ass as Terry Labonte in 2001. That was awesome. Because that game was came out in 2001, but it said 2002. I hate how EA does that. Like they do that with the Madden games. It's stupid. I fucking hate it. I kind of like what the Heat games are doing. They're just like you know. Oh, it's been years since you played those seven. Oh man. Yeah, like I said, I recently just got it like within the last few months, and I only paid like two bucks for it. And it was really good. I really love it. I play it every now and then. I, I, I did like a season mode as Bobby Labonte in his 43 car, and I, try, I helped him win the win a championship in that. That was pretty cool, because I love that car. Mm, we're still not close on fuel. God damn it. Mm. There's Kyle Busch. Somehow doing good at Talladega. He usually is terrible here. He's only got like one win here, and that was like the first year he was a Joe Gibbs. He won the pole and won the race, and then just hasn't done dick all since. <laughs> but yeah, I, mu I mostly love having NASCAR 08, just so I can race as like Juan Pablo Montoya his rookie year. That's pretty cool. I also love having the... Oh, watching NASCAR? Oh, man, that's old. That was a long, a long time. Like, at least... I could, the first race I can remember watching was like the 2002 500 where, because I remember Sterling Marlin wrecking Jeff Gordon or he'd spun him out and it caused the big one and then Sterling Marlin got out of his car. I remember seeing that live when it happened. So I remember that. Like I remember that race pretty vividly. And I remember, like, oh, you can't do that. And he gets out of his car, and he, like, tries to fix the fender. Like, I remember watching that race. I don't know if that was the first race I ever saw, but I remember that one. Be That's the first one I can remember. And then the one that kind of got me, like, it hooked on it and lot, like, got me watching it on a consistent basis was uh, the 2005 Daytona 500, because that's when Jeff Gordon ended up winning, and that was an awesome day. I was happy. Unfortunately, it ended up being his last 500, and that was really sad. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, that was uh, that was the one that really got me hooked. But I think 2000, that was I saw. I've been watching it at least since 2002, and I remember watching a commercial. What actually kind of got me, at least in the, in the NASCAR initially, was Jeff Gordon. And it wasn't because of him racing. It was a commercial for, like, Fritos. Because it was back when he was still driving the Pepsi Frito car. And they had, like, little, you know, he, he was basically, like, a, the Frito spokesperson. And, uh, and it was, uh, it was with a commercial for, like, uh, Fritos that were shaped like cars. You know, so you could buy those chips. And it was, like, Jeff Gordon on the bag. I remember going to the store and seeing those. And I thought those were so cool, and I loved that guy's name. I was like, because I didn't know about NASCAR, I just knew that, I just knew that guy's name, and I was like, oh, that name sounds so badass. I love that name. <laughs> Jeff Gordon, that was a cool name. So that's what got me into NASCAR was that, mostly his name. And then I watched the, I might have been before 2002, and then I watched the 2002 500, and yeah. So I, I think, yeah. Nice. He's on the 2005 500. Nice. There you go. See, a lot of people, that was the first one. Like I said, I can't remember exactly which one was like this, but I, I do remember watching the 2002 500 because I got really mad at Sterling Marlin because he, 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 he bumped Jeff Gordon. I remember that happening live, so that was frustrating. Um, I don't know if I watched any races before that. I do remember the fallout of when Dale Earnhardt died. I remember seeing like the newspapers and stuff, and I think I saw the finish a few times, but I don't remember the exact like if if I saw the race itself, because I, I just I just remember that he died in the crash and that was it. So I don't know if I saw the actual race. I think I may have just saw the highlights. 
of him, you know, when he crashed and everything, so I don't know. But I, so I've at least been following it, like I said, since probably 2002, but I really have been, like, con like following it, like, hardcore since, like, 2005, at least the Cup Series. And then, like, 2007, I started to watch the Bush Series and, and uh, which is now the Xfinity Series, and then the uh, Truck Series, which, you know, now I love, I love both of those, and that's, that got me into the rest of the other, like, NASCAR, you know, tiers, like K&N and, &N and uh, ARCA. Like, I watched the ARCA race uh, yesterday um, and Friday, which was a lot of fun. Well, actually, it wasn't that amazing, <laughs> but it was okay. Nice! You're going to live drive a stock car. Badass, dude. That's awesome. You're going to be the next William Byron who's going to go straight from video games to to the Cup Series. <laughs> nice. Just don't take the 24 car. William Byron still got win in it, bro. <laughs> I feel bad for William Byron, man. Like, God, he's got so much talent, but... And you can see it, but it's just... he Hendrick has just struggled the last year or two to really be, like, contenders for wins. I'm surprised Chase Elliott won those three races he won last year, honestly. Like, he really shouldn't have. <laughs> Like, 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 two of those wins were kind of by luck, because Dover, like, like, uh, Harvick probably had the best car, and he shit the bed, and then Kansas, I think Harvick also shit the bed there, too, uh, he was leading and dominating, and then he had, like, a pit stop problem, and that gave the lead to, 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 to Elliott, and he had to hold off Kyle Busch to win it, so, yeah. That's awesome, dude, you're only 14? Dang! <laughs> You're 14! Yeah, I'm only like... I'm 26, so I'm a little bit older. I'm like 12. Actually, I'm a lot older. <laughs> well, 25, actually. I'm almost 26. I'll get there. I keep saying I'm almost 26. I really shouldn't. I should be like I'm 25. So uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I feel old now. I'm like, you know, you turn 26 this year. It's not fun. Six laps to go on fuel. I need a short pit again. I might do that honestly, so I can avoid the big one. And these guys run out of gas. Put it in here. Oh, oh shit! Oh my god, I almost got, I almost got what paged by uh, Kyle Busch there. Oh my god, that was not fun. I saw my life flash before my eyes. Shoot! I don't go with right sides. Let's tape. Oh man. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> oh god. Whoop. I thought we were in caution for a second. I'm like, whoop. It's so weird how they, like, they don't show you the pit stops under caution. I kind of wish they would. Like, like the old EA games used to. No, they don't, they don't do that on here. I don't know. I don't know why. This game seems to, like, have a hard time running sometimes. Like, the. Like, it clips real bad, there's a lot of frame rate issues, which is kind of frustrating. I hope the next NASCAR game is a little bit better. Like, I, I know it's by a smaller group. You know, the 704 guys are kind of a small group, but still. It is, man. It's a nice, it's, it's an awesome turn. A lot of, you know, sad, it was a sad, sad wreck. You know, sad, sad moment happened there, but also good moments have happened there too. A lot of amazing passes have come off of that turn. A lot of, you know, guys who, who, who got their first, got their some got some got their first win, some got their only win, coming off of that turn. So, like, just ask Trevor Bain, man. He got his only win in the Cup Series off that turn. Coming off that turn, I should say. So, like I said, that whole that whole track is just 
it's the it's the pinnacle for a reason for NASCAR. It's the first super speedway. It was it was Bill France's baby. That was his track, Bill France Senior, I should say. That was his baby. That was his track. Oh man. I'd love to go to Daytona at some point. I still haven't gone. Clint Boyer. <laughs> Yeah, not the biggest fan of Clint Boyer personally. He's all right, but I don't know. Spingate, I'm st I'm still kind of hurt by Spingate. Like the fact that he lied about that was kind of eh, doesn't really sit well with me. Like I don't hate him, but you know, <laughs> but I'm just like eh. Like for me, uh, yeah, he's not my he's not on my like my shit list. Boy. But yeah, the uh, the ones that are on my shit list that are Kyle Busch, uh, and I don't like uh, Logano all that much. <laughs> Logano kind of eh, eh, which is which is weird because I like all the Penske drivers except for him. Oh. I love Ryan Blaney. I love Brad. They're like my two favorites. I like Paul Menard a lot. I want to see him win. Well, he's not really a Penske guy, but he gets they get their stuff from Penske. That you know, yeah. I'm talking about Logano. <laughs> yeah, Logano. If you're talking about Logano, yeah, I agree. I agree. I love I love what Cole Perm called him that one interview he did. He called him the squinty eyed douchebag, and I'm just like, yeah, that's pretty fitting. <laughs> <laughs> like that's pretty fitting. He's always like, oh, oh, Kyle Busch. Oh, uh, yeah, that that him too. <laughs> I'm so sick of him winning an Xfinity and trucks. I'm just, I'm over it. I'm so over it, man. I won't be glad when he's done running in trucks because I'll be getting sick of him running. Michael Mertz. <laughs> Oops. Bushy bush bitch, yeah. But yeah, that, uh... But yeah, I, I actually kind of I like his brother, uh, Kurt, a lot. Kurt's kind of grown on me. He's kind of become one of the... He's actually the oldest... He's been running the longest now. He's like the oldest, like... He's like the se most seasoned driver in the field now, which is crazy. He's been racing since, like, late 2000. <laughs> He's been in the sport the longest, and that's just insane. I never thought that we'd come to a day where that was the case, where Kurt Busch was the oldest running driver. That kills me. Because he was, like, one of the one guys. But, yeah, he's had a pretty decent year so far this year. He's been really consistent. He probably could have won Bristol. Uh, had some top five runs at tracks. He's you know that Ganassi has kind of struggled at this year with Kyle Larson. So he's doing a really good job, honestly, all things considered. I'm really happy with how Kurt's having with the season he's having. Damn, Marty Tent. I didn't pay attention to that. I've not been paying attention at all. How many laps to go? 15. I need to pay attention. I don't know how many laps to go on fuel. I've got. I think I'm good to go on fuel the rest of the way, I believe. I'm guessing the nine guys in front of me... Oh, God. Oh, God. My earpiece falling out. Shit. I need to get a new headset for this thing. Oh, you want to see Austin win the three tomorrow? I actually want to see the eight car win tomorrow. I think that'd be pretty good, pretty damn cool. <laughs> I'd love to see Daniel Hammer get his first win. I don't know. I, I love that Caterpillar car. I think he... I, I don't know. I'd love to see them win. The Caterpillar hasn't won a race as like the spot made spot on a car since like 2002 with uh, with Ward Burton. So, oh that's oh yeah 1999 Die Hard Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. That's the one that Brian Williams talked about in his interview that he and his son went to. I remember that. Yeah, that was the 99. Uh, yeah, the Die Hard 500. That's cool. That would be neat. I don't know if that's going to happen, but he's on the pole, so he has a shot at it. He's got speed. Like, RCR has speed, man, and they, they won the Xfinity race 
with Tyler Reddick, so anything's possible. Three car could win, but you know, maybe Ty Dillon could win. <laughs> He's got a stage win already, so you never know. <laughs> that was amazing when he won that stage in Bristol against Clint Boyer. That was like that's the best part. That's probably the that's probably the funniest thing that's happened all happen. That's why I'm like not crazy about Clint. That's another reason why I'm not so crazy about Clint Boyer. He got his ass beat by fucking Ty Dillon on that restart to win the stage. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh man. Uh, I'm. I don't know. I I wouldn't be. A good, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Kind of down. Ty Dillon. Who knows? Yeah, three for the win. I'm kind of eight for the win. I'd love to see. I want to see a new winner. I don't know. I'm kind of in the group. I want to see a new winner. Somebody hasn't won at Talladega yet, which is a lot of people. <laughs> I, although I, you know, I wouldn't be mad if Brad got his sixth win, you know, because I'm Brad. But that would be nice to see somebody hasn't won at Talladega before win again, win, win a race, or even a guy get his first win altogether. That'd be pretty sweet. Like, like Mr. Hemrick here. He hasn't won a race yet. Not only in the Cup Series, but he hasn't won in Trucks or Xfinity yet. But he's really good. Like, he's a really good driver. He just hasn't had the... He's just had shit get in his way from getting to victory lane. Like, he should have won, like, four or five races last year in Xfinity and, like, just, like, caution screwed him over or he had, like, a bad pit stop or something stupid happened to him that, that took him out of winning. So, I don't know. Yeah, I'm good to go on fuel. I guess these guys in front of me, they pitted not too long ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. That's why they that's why they switched to the eight. Some people were kinda of mad that, that RCR switched from the the eight uh, from the thirty one to the eight, but I'm actually okay with it. Oh, Casey Kane, man, he's really slow. I'm okay with it honestly, because the uh, the 31 car really hasn't had all that much success in Cup. Yeah, he's the yeah he's he's Dale Jr.'s grandpa. But yeah, the uh, but anyway the uh, um, I was trying to think here, I lost track. But yeah, the, uh, the the 31 car really has struggled. It hasn't won like all that many races. Most of them were with Jeff Burton, Robbie Gordon got a couple. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if anybody else won with them. I don't think so. But yeah, like like Mike Skinner could never get a win in the 31, uh, except at like some of the exhibition races, like in Motegi and uh, a lot of shootout wins and like showdown wins and all that. So uh, for like the per the preliminary races for the Bud Shootout, you know. But yeah. <laughs> Wake up, me. Wake up, me. But yeah. Anyway, so the 31 car, I, I was okay with them essentially kind of retiring it over the 8 car. Like, honestly, I'm a little more upset. Oh, I got the lead. I wasn't paying attention. I guess they pitted now. I have the lead. I'm more upset at the fact that Hendrick Motorsports retired the number 5 and didn't get rid of the 88. Like, I, I, I kind of wish, like, Bowman was in the 5 car. <laughs> or or Byron was in the five car, or something. I think it's my lead. Oh wow, Blaney was catching me, man. Uh, do I need to pit? Not really? Yeah, we're good on fuel. <laughs> Course is really tough. Not really. It's Talladega. Course is okay. It's the other drivers that are not. Yeah, we're good. Blaney's coming. Dylan, hey, boys, in third. He could win this thing. He's got a shot at it. Oh, it's a four lap shootout to decide it. We don't get another caution here. I just got pulled pull away and block like a, like a monk. I actually wish this would have gone green. I think. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Yeah, Daytona, the the uh, the arcade game. <laughs> That's a fun song. Oh no, they're going three one. Why you do this? <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> no. 
anybody. Uh, Blingy's coming though. That uh, I wouldn't mind him getting in front of me. No, I don't want Kyle. Fuck off, Kyle Bush. Go fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh damn it! I did not side draft well at all. <laughs> Why you do this? Why? You do God damn it! Oh no. Oh no, this is not good. I'm back to seventh, and I don't have fresh tires. Oh no, I'll work with Dylan. I'll work with my teammate. Come on, Dylan. You're my teammate. You're supposed to help me out, bro. Let's do this. Let's get to the front. Let's tandem draft, even though we, sh we shouldn't be able to in these Gen 6 cars. But fuck it, who cares? Oh, Denny Hamlin, don't you dare. Don't you dare block. Let's go. Let's go, three car. Come on. Let's get to the front. We're in the top three now. Oh, God. Oh, wow. I ran the apron horribly there. Okay, there, Miles. I need to stick to the bottom. That's where I'm good at. Yes, sir. I got a Twitter. I probably need to put a link of that in the description. I'm so dumb. I don't do that. Actually, there might be a link to that. I don't know. Come on, Dylan. Let's go. Let's go. We got one more to go after this. Oh, no. Oh, Dylan. Dylan, what are you doing? No, Dylan. At Seals WWE. Okay. I'll look that up when I get done here. <laughs> Let's get off of here. Oh, boy. This race is going to be intense. Oh, Dylan, come on, let's get her on. Let's get her on, Hamlin. Come on, boy. Oh, no. Your boy's got the lead now. It's going to be between me and him. Yeah, swipe flag sponsor my crew make. I missed that. Let's go for it. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to wreck him. Oh, oh he got loose. Damn it. <laughs> Fuck. RCR 1 2, though. <laughs> Eight and three, one, two. There you go, bro. Hope you hope you love that. <laughs> I hope your boy win. <laughs> ah. That was weird. Her current heart. It's got the race wind damage and everything. <laughs> Castle. <laughs> London Castle. <laughs> oh my god. It's amazing. Crashed. No. Fuck. I'll have to stop broadcasting now. I don't know if you can hear me.